Testing, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> testing my voice there. Woo! Good. Oh, good. Things are coming, coming together. Oh, nice. Wow, we're gonna get started here in like a minute. Oh, whew. Tiberius, your question will be answered. Music, music's a bit loud in comparison. Yeah, it, it usually is. That's normally how this, normally how this goes down. Oh my goodness. It's no big deal though, I promise. Because we're not gonna be listening to this music the entire time. We are going to be in the game like this. Ah! Game load! Load! Perfect! Excellent! Oh my goodness! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official Rockfish Game stream, where I am your host, Eric Schrader, your community ambassador for all things Everspace 2. Today's gonna be fun. Today's gonna be fun. We're gonna be moving into our continued overhauling stuffs. Um, kind of. <laughs> so we're going to be answering a couple questions. Uh, we're, we're mostly going to be answering questions that you guys have, which is the general rule of, uh, for the, the streams, right? Like these community streams are for you. And we're happy that you sneak on in. And I know that you want all the new stuff. Of course, we'll get there. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm kind of stalling. Um, but also know that like, we want to make sure that you guys know where we are at with our development, why we're doing what we're doing. Like this is an open platform of communication. So if you have concerns and questions and stuff like that, these streams are where you're supposed to go to do that. Like we wanna talk with you all. We wanna have fun with you all. And if you have suggestions for the game, that's different, right? That's different. You don't join the stream and then they're like, let's talk development. Mm, no, 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 that's for the forums. But like, this is where we can chat, we can have fun. We can see what's going on. Oh my goodness, do I have a do I have a button missing? Oh my scandalous. Oh my, I'm so sorry, ladies. Oh. Too bad I'm married. Alright, anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, get into this. We are gonna pull up our stream safe. Where we left off. There's a rumor that Everspace 2 is coming out in December 2022. Where is this rumor and why haven't I ever heard of it? 
That seems very fascinating to me. You like that rumor? Oh, it's in your head. Oh, nice. That's, um, well, your head is wrong. I uh, just want to <laughs> just put that out there. I, I love the wishful thinking. I really do. I would, I would love for us to be able to put this out in December as well. Like holidays. Oh yeah. That'd be amazing. But no, no, no. We, we changed our timeline and, you know, I've been communicating. The game will be fully released in 2023. Um, and I know I can, I can very easily say first half, um, but I'm rather confident, in fact, that we'll have the first quarter uh, when we drop the game. Uh, some people saying there's chat troubles. No, yes, no, everything's good. Everything's good over on, on YouTube. We're good. Wonder if Rockfish's sound guy played EVE Online. I am, actually, I'm not sure if Gero's played EVE Online or, or not. Um, that's a really good question. But I know that he's been inspired by a great many sounds in the, um, in the sci-fi category. What's this? Anyway, um, let's go ahead and, uh, jump in and start blowing stuff up a little bit. We'll start answering some questions. It'll be great. You can't be mad at me for wishing for a good Xmas gift this year. Oh, no, that's totally fair. It's totally fine. Totally good. Welcome, welcome to everybody sneaking in. You guys are great. You guys are wonderful. Yeah, it looks like chat's good. Missed the live stream, unfortunately, last week. Well, psh, you're here now, and that's that's what matters. That's what's important. So let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. So first things first, we have our decimator and repeater, and we were destroying the anemones anemone with this bomber oh my goodness which we have been expertly flying this time around just ignore that very momentary uh distraction that asteroid came out of nowhere and uh i think we're just uh yeah we're just doing this little side mission this little location challenge to destroy all anemones we've already mined some Clygon and some copper in the area so if we ever needed Clygon or copper for anything to craft we would know where we could go back and get that. All right. <laughs> Just jumped on you, bear might moment. I know, right? 100%. So look at this, we got the some Atheum Crystal. Oh, that's great. Gotta love that Atheum Crystal. Also, so you guys are aware, because I know I, know I kind of teased this in a previous stream. Um, so yeah, I'm not like doing a super great job of getting all these little pieces and particles. And from our internal testing, we also just straight up agree. I want you I want you guys to all calm down out there with your ADHD. I must collect every piece. We also recognize that this is rather annoying where it's like, okay, where's the rest of it? I don't see it. Is it right? Is it right here? And you're like getting a little bit of chunk here and you're getting a little bit of chunk there. And you're like, where's the rest of it? Ah, this, this definitely is infuriating. We are, we are already on it. We are already like, we want to make sure that when we apply the update, that this does not feel bad. Okay. So something's going to be done about this. I can't tell you specifically what, but we are already recognizing this because even like in this current state of like doing this stream, like look at that. I just got it cleared and I hit like a couple little chips. Doesn't exactly feel the best. So yeah, that'll be fixed. Anyway, otherwise I'm going to get as much of this Atheum crystal as I possibly can. Without me getting driven mad. Perfect, perfect. Feels good. And then we are, I think there's a, there's another cave in here, right? For, uh, no, no, not there. Isn't there one that we have to destroy all the things? Yeah, in here, which looks like we already got. Okay. All right, yeah, because this is the, this is stuff we've already harvested, so no big deal. All right. No big deal. So let's sneak on out of here. Ooh, a power unit. Power unit. HX1. I feel like I feel like a lot of you out there are somebody with the Discord was even saying like, man, I can never find power units. Why can't I ever find them? It's so frustrating. And I just picked up two of them just completely randomly. 
Um, and that's gonna be the case of components. Uh, and when I say components, I'm literally talking about um, items that can have different rarities that are not naturally occurring, right? Like this is not an ore, it's not a crystal. It's not just a standard resource, but it is a component. It has been man-made. It's taken resources to make this item. Now, how would you make a component out of resources? I really have no idea how we would accomplish something like that. So I guess I'm trying to say that components are 100% random in the entire game, and that's just the way it is. Just, just the way it is. All right. Let's take out some more hydras. Splat. Ooh! Will, I'm sure you are pleased. We have found our Baramite brothers. For anybody who's missed this joke at all, please take a moment. Read this. Oh, wait. We saved him. We saved him, rescue mission complete. And some more Clygon, that feels good. And, uh, oh man. I forget how pretty it is out here on the outskirts of Cedo. Just nice and tranquil. Gosh, more deposits, more copper. Oh gosh. So many resources out here. Feels good. Actually, does this mine, is this, is this a suitable mining method? Probably not. Probably, probably wouldn't recommend missiles to mine. But we tried. We gave it, we gave it a good try. And all these resources. And now I'm see I'm sure that there's gonna be so many people that are kind of like asking. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what some chatter's about, and then we're gonna go blow up some outlaws in the area. Any blood star? No. Oh, I think we're too are we're too uh well they should be in the hinterlands. Blood star should be in the hinterlands. Okay, let's see what I missed. Is the Arc 9000 mining fix yet? Bro! <laughs> oh goodness gravy. Love your games, devs, but we also need big capital ship ships. Okar frigates back in aerospace one. Yeah, I know the Okar frigates were pretty cool. They definitely exist in the new universe. Where are they? Where are they? That's my question. I mean, I'm surprised that just first entering into the game, much like Everspace 1, that I just don't immediately run into an old car frigate. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. I be I'm being mean. I'm sorry. I should I need to apologize for that one. But much like in Everspace 1, and the first four systems, first four systems, you can't even discover an Okar frigate. They do not even start generating into an Everspace 1 run until you reach Sector 5. Pre pretty confident of that. Pretty confident of that. Um, so, just, just, I'm just throwing that out there. That's all. I'm just throwing it out there. Are they in Everspace 2? No, they're clearly not in Everspace 2 right now. And I think that's just an important, you know, it's an important thing to note. That they're just not, they're not in the game. Yeah. Probably. Man. My devices seem... Kind of simplified here. Hang on a second. Ooh, a sensor? A nano injector? That's nice. Hang on, let me take a look at something. Mm, yeah, okay. Oh, what? Oops. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Let me uh, get back to... What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was blasting some guys. Let's answer some questions.
Free demo. Yep, there is a free demo right now. Uh, that's 100% true. You can go to Steam and just download it for free, 100%. 100%. One like completely for free and it is the it's the full game free what do i mean by that i mean that when you download it if you're having fun and you want to take that progression in that space and transfer it over to the main game we will be fairly confident of this oh my gosh i hope i don't uh hope i'm not saying something wrong here actually but we would like to keep the demo updated that's what i'll say we would like to keep the demo updated so that way, all of the things that get updated into the experience, they'll also be updated into that demo. I don't know if they're going to be at the same time or if it'll come a little bit later, but rest assured, your progress in the demo will be transferred over to the full game uh, if you choose to purchase the full game. So demo, 100% free, you'll have access to Cedo and you'll be able to, uh, you know, do some missions, check out how things are going. See if it feels right for you without spending a dime. Being extra cheeky today, who spiked his coffee? Fun fact, I have not had coffee today. This is me without coffee. <laughs> Woo! Oh man. All right, so we have to find a couple more anemones. I think we found them. One, two, three. Boom! Got a biomass. This shipwreck, come back. Come back to me. Booster, nanobots, excellent. And our mainframe component, which I really wanted. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is a nice one. So we can uh, keep exploring the hinterlands. I wanna try and populate my map with like what resources are generating where. So we'll just head over to this unexplored undiscovered site. See what we find. Let's try it. Let's see what's in the unknown signal. Yeah, okay, so I, I did get confirmation and, and, and thank you for that, uh, Michael. Uh, we are going to keep the demo updated. It's probably not going to be in sync. Like when we drop the update this spring, for example, uh, the demo is probably not going to be updated on the same day at the same hour, right? It might be 24 hours after. It might be a week after. It might be two weeks after. Not 100% sure. So just know that. Um, that's just going to be the main takeaway. Early access will always get those components uh, to you as soon as possible uh, so that we can start moving into the next phase and then the demo is kind of like part of that next phase to like let individuals who haven't experienced the game and want to get a slice of it uh, get a little taste of that as well. Now obviously when I say update the demo I'm not saying like oh the demo is going to get all of the content that was added uh, like you'll be able to go to Drake and you'll be able to you know do all these crazy things like I'm more talking from the standpoint of you know having the resources revamped and having the crafting uh, revamped. <laughs> Another thing, and, and the devices updated. Um. <laughs> ah! Man, I tell you what, we've been doing some crazy overhauling of this game, like seriously. It's, it's actually kind of been nuts with how many different things have been coming together. Also, speaking of things coming together, uh, why don't I use this just to, just to use it? Yeah, that's much better. I like how I have life now and I'm not close to dead anymore. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Still looking for more blood star gear though. That would be nice to get, please. Ooh, ask and you shall receive. I do like that. Good, good. I do need to probably get some energy weapons, but uh, for now, blood star is pleasantly, um, pleasantly over 
damaging, over damaging. I'm getting a damage boost from my set item bonus, uh, simply because I'm boosting as I'm firing. So I am doing a pretty healthy amount of damage here. Like I'm not even focusing down the drones. Oh my gosh. I love this change so much. I don't know how many of you played Everspace 1, but in Everspace 1, the drone carrier actually has an invulnerable shield. You cannot break through it unless... Why am I not using my secondaries as, as a bomber? Oh my gosh, look at me. But you cannot, you, you cannot break the shield unless you drop all of the drones in Everspace 1. And we wanted there to be a couple different ways to go about that in Everspace 2, so you can still do that, and it's actually probably far more advantageous. Um, I just uh, don't because I'm kind of lazy and I'm talking to you guys. But, um, yeah, I like just going for it. You just have to power through the armor. And in my defense, we do have two weapons that are kinetic damage focused. So going after armored targets is, is good. It's healthy. It is rather healthy for us to accomplish. Didn't even need to do that to the drone. Silly me. A prospector? What else is over here? Oh, a demolisher? Probably should have been our first target. Whoops. There we go. Much better. We'll go get this guy, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about some more stuff here in a moment. Now, I do I I do want to be pretty clear here. Um, so obviously, obviously, I am teasing that there's some more stuff that we've re reworked. We've updated and we've overhauled, clearly. And clearly, two of those things, the crafting system and devices. In my transparency here, I have to make sure you guys know we're not going to open this up in a crazy discussion today, all right? I'm going to be teasing you these elements. We're not going to be cracking it open and diving in just yet just yet. Um, as you guys know, who are frequent members of the streaming community, you know that whenever we update our game and we showcase stuff on these Fridays, like this stuff's like literally just been added and it's messy sometimes. <laughs> like things aren't working the way they're intended to and the bugs are kind of, uh, you know, it's it's just kind of, uh, you know, it, sometimes it can be all over the place. So one of the reasons why I can't crack things open everywhere for you is because some of the stuff just doesn't work. For example, if I were to go to crafting, this doesn't even work. There's nothing that even shows there. Why would I show a screen that doesn't even work? Oops, all right. So we will uh, we'll absolutely have that discussion. We will absolutely have that discussion soon. Just not quite ready. I'm just, I'm waiting for somebody to clip that and then post it in the chat. That's fine. By all means, have a gander. Take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. Not sponsored. Man, there's a healthy amount of resources here and I am very pleased. Oh my gosh. So you've messed up the game. Yeah, e effectively. Effectively, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I also want to say that um, if anybody out there, I mean, just randomly, I'm not addressing anybody in particular, just random. Um, if you are asking a question that I've already answered and you continue to ask it multiple times and I'm ignoring you, there's probably a reason for that. Uh, just, just tossing that out there, making sure we're clear on that. All right, so let's see. We got, we got ourselves a catalyst, I think. Uh, where's the, where's the catalyst? Ooh. Ooh. Um, Catalyst? There it is. Aww. 
No, I just, it just sucks. All right, well, it's gone. Uh, let's see, firepower expertise, ooh. That's not bad. That's not too bad. What's that do to our stats completely? Okay, I think we'll take this one. I think we'll take that one instead. Yeah, I like that. I do like that, okay. Also, better destabilizer missile, yes please. Um, and did we also get uh, another missile? I thought we did. No, that was the missile, okay. All right, we'll clean up our inventory here in a little bit, but I'm, right now I'm not too concerned about it. Excellent. All right, now let's go to that other location we were going to go, and then I got distracted because I wanted to destroy all the things. I just like blowing stuff up, okay? All right, underscore tight. And we will clear out the location challenge as we have been doing. I really, I want to get like all of Cedo taken care of. That's my plan. Granted, we can always, we can, we can bounce around, I, I suppose. Like, there's other pretty locations and I know you want to try to see them. We're not going to Drake. Anyone who's, who's <laughs> anyone's wondering. We don't have any new stuff yet to show on Drake. Not yet. Not yet. But I will say it's coming along rather nicely. I have been rather impressed with our environmental design. That's been pretty fun. Just a little drone, okay. Two little drones. Now. There you are. Gonna try and uh, bring in the uh, the rest of the guys. Are they coming at me? Yes, they are. Okay. Good. Preferably, don't want to be sniped. Should be close enough. There we go. This is gonna hurt you way more than it's gonna hurt me. Oh, yeah, that feels good. We didn't even have to focus the weak point or anything. Oh, my gosh. Now now comes the time where I should have been uh, getting rid of all the things that I'm not going to use. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, yeah, we wanted to use that rate, uh, Renegade Plating. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, hello. Whoop, whoop. Back off, please. Thank you. Pod down. Good, good. Oh, there's still a sniper? Oh, my goodness. Oh, come here. That's fine. This is fine. You know what? Just... Okay. There we go, much better. I think this is the last guy. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Nice and clean and simple. We got some stuff to procure, some more Clygon and copper. Excellent. Excellent. I'm a certified loot goblin, 100%. Absolutely. All right. Let's see, what did I miss? Oh my goodness, I see, I see I did miss something. Okay, no, no, we question about 3D space maps, uh, radars, stuff like that. Uh, nope, it's not, it's not the direction we wanna go. Thank you for that question. I mean, Michael also appears to have answered it. Reckon Steam Deck is good enough to run this game? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a portable PC, right? 
and it runs on PC. So I guess, I don't, know. I don't have that answer yet. I think there's still a bit of testing that would need to take place before we'd have a response to that. I hope it would, that would be cool. Uh, what else? Specific in-game content or just whatever side missions are left over? Oh no, there will be specific in-game content. Um, yes, absolutely. We will, in fact, have in-game content. Um, at the moment, the format is known as Ancient Rifts, uh, which shares a very similar title, uh, if not exact similar title, as another in-game uh, <coughs> looter action RPG. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically what it is, is it's opening up a rift provided by the ancient technologies, right? Uh, that allows you to go through randomized locations to overcome a specific mission. And the further you get, the more loot you get out of it. There you go. So it's almost like adding a slice of Everspace 1 into Everspace 2 because they are randomized runs at least that's that is the plan and uh so far the plan seems to still be rather intact but i will also say that we have not been working on in-game elements yet because we are simply not there we still have other components to bring together first And I get some more resources that are generating in the area. And then I think I think what we're gonna do, I mean, I've, I've used the Arc 9000 twice. Once was poorly, I will fully admit. Second time was nice. But I think we wanna swap up the ship, right? I think we wanna buy a new ship. So we'll probably go purchase a new ship. No, we're not flying the rogue today for everybody who's already asking. No. It's still being worked on. It's not done. But man, is it fun. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Let's put some things together here. 30, 38 Culver crystals? Is that what I saw? Holy cow. Nice! I'm not even mad! That's gonna do great for things that I need to craft. Probably. Maybe. Clygon deposit over there? Did we did we get this one? Is this like actually there or did we Is this one of those where we scrounged around and we're gonna fix this? Yeah, this is the yeah, this is one of those. Alright. All right, other side, we got two more resource nodes. And then we are gonna keep on cleaning out Union with a different ship. So what ship are you guys thinking? What ship should we be flying today? Recent ships that we've flown, we flew the Striker before the Bomber and before the Striker, I think we were flying the Scout, is that right? I feel like we could probably give the, the medium ship classes some love. So what about an Interceptor or a uh, Sentinel? What do you guys think? Right, just check my map really quickly. Make sure this is... Uh... Oh, that didn't update. Oh, my goodness. Aha! Uh -huh. I found a bug. I caught you. I thought we were having some problems with the way this catalog. But uh, as you're going through these locations and you're collecting resources, you'll see under the details, it lists how many you've gathered. Um, so yeah, didn't update for our military outpost, unfortunately. Maybe it'll up update when we leave, I don't know. But obviously this is all still getting worked on. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't populate, unfortunately, but don't worry too much about that. That will be rectified by its update time. We haven't done the full gambit of testing to make sure everything works yet. Press G to clear the node. Oh my gosh.
Let RNG reveal how the rouge looks. Goodness gravy, guys. Sentinel gang rise up. I, I, see, I see a couple votes for Sentinel. So let's, yeah, let's take the Sentinel for a spin. Of course my internet connection gives out just when the stream started. Did I miss anything? Nope. You missed absolutely nothing at all. All right. Whoop. Oh god, I'm actually surprised I got that. So you returned. And right on time, I'd say. We've got new assignments on the job board. New assignments on the job board. All right. Uh, so let's check out, um, let's see. Let's go to the shop and get some of these things out of the way. <coughs> oh, excuse me, something's in my throat, so I can't change what's on the screen. <coughs> okay, now that I'm back, let me go ahead and look and see what else is here. Oh, yeah, energy chargers? Those are great. Sweet. Um... <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, somebody on the team is like, Eric, 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 <laughs> Eric! <laughs> I hope it's not Michael. Michael, we're friends, right? Okay. Everything's good. Let's sell some stuff uh, because we need more credits. So that was an accident. That one right there. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, we're going to sell some stuff. Shield breaker missiles. Oh, absolutely. Perfect for this ship that we're about to sell. Uh, let's see, sensors, eh, let's, uh, I think we can dismantle this, uh, for more blueprint progress. Yeah, good, good. Uh, that's what we wanted right there. Oh, yeah. I don't even care that the nano plating is technically better. Um, I like that GMB and Okar unit kill. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that and we're gonna be a little bit more devious in today's stream, I think. Uh, and sell that. All these things, that, the other thing, let's see, scrap metal, solar panels, we're just gonna sell the solar panels. Which actually, there's, this is, there's an important distinction here. There's an important distinction here. This is not, I think, I think that there's been a slight amount of confusion on certain elements, so let's just talk about this very briefly. There is a difference between resources, components, and commodities, okay? And the shape of the commodities is much more rectangular, as you can see here in the middle of the screen, right? Solar panels are a commodity versus components, which are much more cylindrical. Technically, they're a hexagonal, right? Uh, and, but it's like a, and you, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, right? So just that visual distinction an, alone allows you to see what is a component versus what is a commodity. Commodities, in most cases are just things that take up inventory space that have a credit value to them. They are things that exist in the world that maybe somebody else is looking for, maybe you could make a good trade with if a certain station was looking for them or was in dire need, stuff like that. So there's ways to profit using commodities, but in regards to your ship and your upgrading, there's nothing about commodities that will assist you. That's very different from the standpoint of a component, which is a man-made element that stuff can be done with, which we actually, I can't, we, I've already said too much. <laughs> we'll talk more about that probably next week. Oh my gosh, look at me, tiptoeing around details. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have not worked on jobs, I will say that. Uh, this is still something that is going to be revamped. Um, just, just throwing it out there for anybody who's missed that. Um, there will very likely be a couple of new jobs added, but the way that they are handled, like all of this stuff over here, this is going to be changed around a bit. So that's going to be coming in a later update. Not this spring. It's not showing up in this spring, which is like, what, March, April, May. You know, that territory. It's June and, and spring. Wherever that's at, 
Remember that stuff falls. I don't I don't know my seasons. I don't care. Shut up. All right. <laughs> um but yeah, then we also have the ship dealer, which of course we can buy ships. I probably should have checked the ship before landing. Hey guys, I think right now is a really good time to remind you all, like just, I'm just throwing it out there, uh, just for common courtesy, where you can follow us. Uh, there's so many different places, you know, you got Discord and Twitch and YouTube and Twitter, like all of these places are super exciting and fantastically is like, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It is so good. It is so good where you can follow us, give us all those likes, all the love. It's great. It's great time. It's great. Okay, we're fine. All right, everything's fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Good. We're gonna buy ourselves a new ship. Um, and there's gonna be no mistakes that happen whatsoever uh, because there can't be. Everything's fine. Nothing's new here. Everything's great. We have a Liberator. We could swap over to a gunship. We have a Reaver Sentinel, which I believe is what we are gonna transfer to. Uh, but I just wanna show the other ones that we have here. We have a Raptor Striker. Oh, I love these. I love the Raptor wings. They are so good. We also have a Spirit Scout. Oh, my little boy. Oh, I love him so much. And then we have a, another Cyclops Bomber. And that's it. There's not any other ships at all here uh, that are in this, th at, at this station whatsoever. So we're gonna purchase this Reaver. Um, we could almost straight up buy it, but we just don't have quite enough. So we are going to buy and sell current with a proper exchange of 420 credits. Wow. That's incredibly coincidental. So yeah. So now we've got our brand new Sentinel. Our Reaver. Looks good to me. We do need to give it a nice color swap though. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a look at what our options are. Woo! -hoo -hoo. I do like this one. I, I do like this one, but let's give it a fresh new paint job. Let's, um, let's go, let's change this one. Cause it's a uh, pretty, <clears throat> not pretty. It's pretty, not pretty. So let's just, uh, neutralize these colors. Start from scratch. And I need some color suggestions. We don't have a tremendous number of them. But I want, I'm just going to look over. I'm going to see what colors are being thrown about. I'm going to take it for a spin. I don't even care. I see indigo. All right. Well, we don't have an indigo. So the closest I can do is purple, which feels incredibly weird. The rogue is Schrodinger's cat. Exactly. 100%. Now, hang on a second. There's, there's a delay. So I'm, I got to go back and forth between the chats. Hang on. Hang on. White, black, and yellow. Okay, so I, I'm only taking one from the suggestion. So the second one's going to be white. And then the third one... I see... I see there's also chrome being asked. Purple Berry Blast. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Yeah, your requests make me so happy. June is summer. Okay, thank you, Mac Mac. Thank you for correcting me. I went to college, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Australian spring up. Yeah, that checks out. Frog green. Oh my gosh. So we could do purple, white, and green. Oh my goodness. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm getting some real Buzz Lightyear vibes. All right. I'm like, like serious, serious Buzz Lightyear vibes. Um... Sure, <laughs> we'll take it. I wish we had some better emissive lights because I think, uh, yeah, we don't we don't really have any complementary colors here yet. That's just unfortunate. So we're just gonna keep the light blue for now. I know it's painful. Maybe we go to yellow. We could go to yellow. Let's we'll just go to yellow. Uh, and we'll just uh, we'll go with that. Excellent. Excellent.
Should we let RNG choose the colors? Well, me asking in the chat is effectively just that. <laughs> it's all good. All right, let me uh, see if I can. Oh yeah, we got plenty of Klygon. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. So our hangar size has been increased. We can hold nine ships now. That's wonderful. We got all of these. Still haven't given fire support to Elec. Part of me hasn't done this because I don't want him to show up. Not because I don't like Elec, okay? Whoa, 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 slow, everyone slow down. Elec is wonderful, he's a delight. I just, uh, I just like flying solo. I'm a loose cannon, all right? I don't need a partner. It's the way I operate. Uh, heat detectors, beautiful. And then finish off repairs. Oh, we got some scrap metal though. We need more iron. We need more iron, okay. All right, otherwise, uh, things are looking pretty good around here. So that's good. Uh, we could take some jobs. Now nah, we're not gonna take some jobs. I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to another system as well uh, with our uh, beautifully intricate. We'll just dismantle our Buzz Lightyear ship now. We'll head over to the K Nebula and we will do this high risk location. That's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and launch. A bold choice. It, I mean, it feels like I'm flying like a plastic toy now. <laughs> but it's in the best way possible, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Alright, that's. I am pleased with these results. I uh, truly, truly I am. All right, let's get over to the Kaiyu Nebula. <laughs> Eric, how many coloring books did you fill during your time in coloring college? Um, wait a second. <laughs> oh my gosh, Med Med. I don't know why it took me that long to understand you were making fun of me. <laughs> well played. <clears throat> what ship is this? This is a Sentinel. It's a tier two Sentinel Reaver. Right, I'm not crazy. Yeah, Reaver, it's a Reaver A3. Actually, I like these engines and the body with those wings. I think that comes together really well. I think that comes together really well. Now, I'm... I will fully admit that I'm not like completely sold on the ship colors, but you know what you chose guys? And by your command, I am your servant. So away we go. Coloring college, ouch. Yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can we see tier three Sentinel? Not today. Not today. But um actually, yeah, so so on the front of tiers. Let's let's get into serious mode. I've been a little goofy. Let's let's get into serious mode here. So uh in regards to like ship progression and modules and stuff like that. Um, obviously, we don't have all the pieces done yet, right? We're still, we're still missing pieces. We're still missing pieces. Um, and they're being worked on. Matthias has been hard at work. He's actually been working on a, a new set. So we might have some sooner than later. If we do, you know, that'll be something that we open up and start discussing and, and sharing with you guys, like actively showing you on the live streams. They're just not at that phase yet. You know, we've had a lot of other focal points you know, with like the whole overhaul to the game, this has been a very massive change to our internal systems. And the balance there also has to be very well taken care of in order for everything to come together uh, in the way that it needs to, right? In order for you to have the maximum enjoyment in your experience and also have the tools you need in order to progress in the ways that you desire. The tier three and tier four ships are very likely going to be held back until full release. I'll say that again. The tier three and tier four ships will very likely be held back until the full release. 
There's a lot of added customization there and we know that you want it, but that is planned for that in-game, like full experience mode. And there are a lot of other details, a lot of other uh, systems, a lot of other components, a lot of other mechanics in the game that we have to iron out, that have to be completed before that 1.0 1 release, or at the very least through the early access phase for you to get your hands on to ensure things are working properly. And customization simply isn't one of those necessities. I know a lot of you understand this. I just have to make it said, I have to make it known. So tier three and tier four ships will not be appearing until the 1.0 release. At this time, that is where we stand on that. But more modules are coming. More modules for the ships are coming. But that might change. It's not likely to change, but it's important that I don't eliminate all possibilities. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a community ambassador? Mm, yes, very, very likely won't happen. 99% chance that it won't, but you know. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> I would not expect it at all. Like the, the whole reason I make these statements is so that we are tempering the expectations, ensuring that, uh, you know, we're on the same page with one another, right? We want to be on the same page with you guys. It's very important to do that. And that's why I will straight up tell you guys sometimes like this is happening or this isn't happening. We need more iron. Oh my gosh, we got all of these. Power cells, heat detectors, super gels. Mm -hmm. Give me those energy orbs. Delicious. Can we max it out? We need more plasma. We need more plasma. Where can we find plasma? Ah, oh, we haven't discovered plasma naturally yet. All right. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so we're going to take this bad boy and we are going to... I actually need to swap my devices. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to use these devices. Everything's fine. Swap your devices, Eric! Next week. Next week, we'll swap devices. Very diplomatic, such wow. Thank you, Deshra. I knew that somebody out there would, would understand. All right. Another trip through the light. Fantastic thanks to spatial bypass technology. All right, let's get some Culver. And then we also have, what was over here? Whoop, whoop, more Culver. Delicious. I like the way this crystal looks, by the way. This is like one of my favorite looking crystals that we've uh, engineered. Like, just take, a, just take a look at this. Take a look at this. Very distinct from the other type of crystals, right? Yeah, similar-ish of colors. And we might tweak the colors a little bit here and there. I just, I like the way that those come across. My gosh. Our toy ship. Like we found the, what would be, the, what's the reverse of a shrink ray, an enlargement ray? We found an enlargement ray. We used it on a toy and now we're flying it. That's what we did. That is what we did. Oh, Malamite. I like the way this looks too, very earthy. Scooping it all up, oh my. I will say that before we had the resources like to this level, um, I don't, I hadn't really like flown around and picked up resources. I don't know how many of you guys have. It's just not really something that I have done a lot of. Um, and so since we have made this update, man, let me tell you what, it's like every time I go to a location, it's like, I have to mine. I have to know what's here. I have to, I have to add it to my map. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and activate. Oh, whoops. I should probably highlight it on the map when I go there. Let's 
a little hot here, guys. Woo! Woo! That's hot. That is hot. Ow. Woo! All right. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. What happens if you crash into the sun? <laughs> Nothing right now. <laughs> Nothing at the moment. Man, I did not get enough of that music. We're gonna have to go back, but first, we must destroy everything. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Lots of redeemers. Oh, oh my goodness, we were not prepared for this. Lots of drones. All right, hang on, hang on. This is gonna get real slippery real fast. We gotta take off some important targets. Get that Crusader out of here. Oh, he's already got a shield up. All right, let's see. No, we wanna go around your shield. Oh, come on. Let's get out of there. This is a, this is a tricky, this is a tricky biscuit. There are so many drones. Oh my gosh. I wish I had an ARC-9000. Alright, let's keep going. Goodness gravy! Alright, we're gonna try and focus down. Oh, come on! Yes, alright. One down. Get back, all right. Too many drones. Right, another disciple. Mm, bad shooting, bad shooting. Give me that energy orb. Oh my gosh, I'm glad we upgraded those. It's gonna help us stay in the fight a bit longer. You know what, just move, all right. Cool. Ah, more dr so many drones. All right, it's all right. Say hello to the asteroid, would you? No more shields. Say hello again. Okay. We're gonna use this little asteroid setup, I think, and we're gonna serve it to our needs. Come over here. Oh, hello. A little, <laughs> little too much. Good, good, excellent. Oh. There we go. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Much better. Hey, we got coral emissive lights. Oh, we got another color too. Oh, look at this. All the colors. What a great, oh, we got jet. Mm. Mm. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I like customization. I like customization a lot. Okay, let me pick up the rest of this loot first. Cause uh, you know, that's the name of the game. Ever loot. And then we'll take these guys out so they don't give us any trouble. I don't like, I don't like your moves. Oh my gosh, this guy. Got some, got some moves. Look at this guy. There we go. 
they're, they're warping in more. Okay, we gotta we gotta focus down the big body. All right, I see how this is going. All right, all right, and it's an elite. All right, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Get absolutely wrecked! <laughs> that feels that feels amazing. Do we scale back their difficulty? Cause I feel like that was way too easy. Oh my goodness. I was an elite, mind you. One more for the scrap heap. Whoops. Double whoops. That's fine. All right. Nice. Unfortunately, no more colors. But a lot more stuff. Feels real good. Excellent. Let's have a quick look at all the stuff we collected. Oh, my gosh. Already completely loaded up again in the best ways possible. Feels good. We are going to scrap some of these common things and stuff that I'm probably not going to need. Mm, armor breaking missiles. We might do that for single targets because, I mean, as much as I like the high capacity rockets, don't get me wrong. They're great for, like, your big baddies. But against... You know, your, your lesser foes, the smaller fighters, which can be more challenging because they're so evasive. I'm going to swap over to this high capacity armor breaker missile instead. So we just have to drop their shields. Not good synergy with our kinetic DPS weapons, but I feel like it's a better option than the high capacity rockets, at least for the moment. At least for the moment. We'll see what we can do a little bit more of here. Uh, in the future. But for now, I think that's going to be the way it'd be. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of that. See you later there. Beautiful. And then, of course, because we are an absolute hoarder, we're just going to send that to the home base for storage. All right. Nice and tidied up. That feels good. That feels good. This is why Crit Happens is the best talent. I don't believe I am using Crit Happens, am I? No, I'm not using it. I'm using Relentless. I am not using Crit Happens. Crit Happens is really good when you're going like a splash damage build where you have like maybe a lot of proc effects, especially where you can like add it to all the things. Um, but Relentless is just like a straight power increase, which I really enjoy. I really enjoy it. Now, it do, it is dependent on how many Warfare devices you have. And as you can tell, I only have two. I only have the uh, EMP generator and the magnetic repulsor here. Oh, yes, perfect. Um, and then we also have the fusion hook. But uh, would definitely like to, uh, you know, add a little bit more to our combo power. Uh, but I do, like, in general, I'm a big fan of how the fusion hook and the magnetic repulsor synergize with one another, where you, like, have, you have the push and the pull. Um, so that feels really good. That feels really nice. And then the EMP, uh, I mean, it's just, like, screwing around with them, too, right? All right, dance break. Well, you probably want to look at more pretties, don't you? Is this the triple? Yeah, let's go over to this point.
This is interpretive dance, okay? All right? Where? <laughs> Michael's like, I'm paying this guy for this? <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, okay, okay, all right. All right. I do wanna go over here because, oh my gosh. <clears throat> it is, it's, it's very, I like this. I like this little space. I love this. I love this planet moon. Look at those colors. Just look, look at how they just pop. Oh, I love that. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. And I love the screenshots that you guys take whenever you're in like super light as well, even though you're not supposed to be able to. Um, I know somebody's like basically hacked it. That's fine. Taking screenshots in in the uh, super lights, a lot of fun. Very good. Jellyfish just to calm down. Actually, yeah. Good point. I got really into that. I, I like the Kite Nebula music a lot. Could you tell? All right. Hang on a second. All right, much better. Oh yeah. I need to be faster, the ship is too slow. Oh yeah. Crusader, goodness, lots of them today. Get your shield down, ha ha ha! Get wrecked, nerd! Ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, we're faster than you, we're faster! Yes! Excellent! I need a target, I need a target! Give me a target! Ah, nice, healthy, juicy target, beautiful. Beautiful! Oh, you're not close. All right, okay, all right. We'll save what's left of our ultimate from here, which you can do by just pushing the G, the G button again, if that's the default binding. Ooh, a synchro pulse. Um, I mean... Mm. It's like we're fighting with rave sticks now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not, that's not how that, that's not how that works at all. <laughs> oh, goodness gravy. Wonderful. Ow! Oh, delicious. All these guys. Nice and crunchy. <clears throat> That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing new. We've all seen that missile before. All right. Shipwreck. Credits. Delicious. And we can calm down. Everything's great. Super great. Oh, shoot. Nightbot, thank you for the mention. I totally forgot about this, but it's totally a thing. Uh, guys, if you don't own Everspace 1, and maybe it's because, I don't know, for whatever reason, you 
missed a sale where it was like absurdly percentage off. Or maybe it's because you'd like to play the game on a more mobile capacity. Well, if you have a Nintendo Switch, Everspace One is currently 50% off. That also includes like all of the DLC stuff that you would normally get if uh, you purchase the DLC separately on the PC. Like it, it's already in, it's the standalone base game when you purchase it on the Nintendo Switch. 50% off over there. So uh, yeah, portable Everspace One at your fingertips, quite literally, 50% off. If you're interested, it's tossing that out. How neat is that? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, sorry, my my words. All right, let's get some more of these random items, and then we are going to keep on trucking. Now, one of the things I do want to mention, you know, with all of this resource updating and crafting and and all that stuff another power unit i am so sorry to the person who was like begging to find a power unit and i found like three or four this stream alone um but you can always still find stuff randomly like what i'm doing procuring salvage by going to you know various unknown signals you can find just an assortment of random stuff now i also want to mention that when you go to an unknown signal within a region are you listening? Are you paying attention? This is an important time. When you go to an unknown signal or a generated location in a region, it's probably going to have similar resources to that of other locations in that region. So we've been to the Athorian Fault, right? There we got Glacet, Copper, and Malamite Crystal. So in this location of the Kait Nebula, where this unknown signal spawned, if there would have been resources, they very likely would have been Glacet, Copper, and Malamite. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're going to just random locations on the map. You can still use that to your advantage to collect certain resources. Okay? What is the Authorian Fault? That's, uh, that is a, uh, well, it's basically a part of the asteroid field within the Kait Nebula um, that has a lot of life in it. Um, and so like whenever it was first explored, uh, there were there was a lot of destruction. We found out that the creatures that live there actually have a taste for metal. They enjoy eating that which with our ships are made of, with which they eat ships. That's what I'm saying. But what was their fault exactly? Hey, it's it's more like a fault line. I see what you're saying. It's like a fault line within the asteroid cluster. You want the soundtrack on Spotify? Uh don't think it's gonna actually would it be on spotify i don't know that i don't know I, all i know is that we will be selling the uh soundtrack at the 1.0 release so you can you can purchase it separately i think we'll probably have like a package deal like a deluxe edition sort of thing where you get the game the soundtrack maybe a couple other goodies i don't know like screenshots or something maybe something more uh but yeah please don't synchro to the music yeah it was a bad idea i'm sorry I apologize. Yeah, so each each one of the ships, uh, yeah, I see a little conversation I'm gonna like dip into. It's like, hey, you're talking, you're talking, excuse me. Um, yeah, so the conversation over about different ships. Um, yeah, 100% why we took the direction to make each ship class unique. Each ship class wanted its own sort of feel and play style. That's like from the class design alone. I mean, that's as common across the board. It's like, you know, you're playing a game of, you know, pick a fantasy world. It's like you have your, you know, warrior, your rogue, your wizard, your cleric, you know, you know kind of what you're getting into the moment you choose that class, right? And in Everspace 2, that's exactly what's happening here as well. You have your weight class alone that immediately starts to distinguish your levels of mobility, right? 
Like, are you going to be uh, super evasive or are you going to be an absolute powerhouse, right? Like super defensive. That's kind of the scale of weight classes. But then when you dive into that weight category of the specific class, then now you're seeing what direction you can take it. Um, I actually, I kind of outlined this. Uh, I want to pull this up from my personal analysis, huh, whatever that means. Um, I've kind of noticed that our ships kind of have this uh, motif within the weight classes. I'm just, I, I'm just pulling up my notes here, okay? <laughs> Give me one second. So I've noticed that we, we try to do like one of the ships within the three of the weight class. They're more defensive. One of the ships is a bit more aggressive and one of the ships is a bit more utility, right? So for what we're flying right now, the Sentinel, I would actually say that the Sentinel is more on the defensive side. Uh, and that's namely for uh, one particular reason, one particular reason, and that is because its expertise allows for your shield damage to completely reduce the damage you take. It like absorb, it mitigates the damage. So like, you just don't take as much damage to your shields. That's a very defensive trait, right? Um, and then in addition to that, buffs, 30% increased duration to buffs applied to self. That means anything that's affecting you in a positive manner lasts longer. Now I get some of you would also say, well, that's also kind of utility. Yes, I agree. I would actually argue um, that in regards to the mediums, the medium weights, um, I would say that the interceptor is probably more of a utility and the striker is the most aggressive. Uh, the interceptor has a lot of all around uh, abilities that make it able to maximize all sorts of directions. But uh, enough of that, enough of that. So yeah, each the, the main point overall is that each of the ship class is very distinct very different right that's the that's the main point i'm going out there um i want to go to zarkov let's go to zarkov we haven't been to this site yet let's go let's go to the site let's go to the site and do the thing how many expansions are already planned for everspace 2 uh we have one dlc planned at this time for Everspace 2. We we like we are super gung ho about it. It's 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 basically going to happen. Um now obviously we haven't started on it. We've got some ideas. Cause it'd be silly not to have a plan of action before we start working on it. Um but obviously we want to get the, the main game done first. But yeah, so at least at least one DLC. Gotta take out this elite first. This music's getting intense. All right, where's that other elite? Hello. Much better. We got midnight! Yes! A very dark indigo. But I am pleased. Very pleased. Alright, let's uh let's fly on out of here. Let's get to Zarkov. Very pleased. Oh, jellies! Jellies! Oh my buddies! Hello! Hello there. This is really intense music for hanging out with your friends. Like, hello, jelly buddies. Hello, jelly buddies. <laughs> but they're so pleasant, so peaceful. I love them. We had we had so much conflict, by the way. Oh my gosh, I think this is hilarious. We had so much conflict with if, if you guys have made it into the game we've showed it on stream there's a mission chain that happens uh in the kite nebula where you have to shoot jellyfish 
And our community was like, but why though? <laughs> we, <laughs> we had a number of people like step forward and be like, look, I really like your game, but I don't like shooting the jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there might be tweaks and updates to Mission Chains in the future. Uh, just <laughs> tossing that out there. I just, I love you guys so much, and thank you for that. I do appreciate it tremendously. <laughs> oh, hello, Ancient Warden. <clears throat> I'm glad we have this Synchro Pulse. Uh, let's, let's focus him down. All right. Probably gonna skip and bounce around because I think that sniper is also trying to get him. Oh, that doesn't work on him. Why'd I do that? That was silly. Man, he's going way off into the void. Alright. Alright. At least he's broken in our current uh in our current version of the game. He didn't even attack me. Hold our destiny, and you have violated them. This, you must return to dust. Can you guys find the caps lock button to shut it off? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, disrupting my my synchro pulse! How dare you! There we go. M seven more power units. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, gravy. Those power units. They're so easy to find. They're so easy to find. Somebody, somebody who's like, oh man, I can't find power units anywhere. What? What's the problem? They generate like candy. We just picked up 14. No big deal. You're not finding them? Look harder. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course I get an unnamed pickup bug just to spite me there. Excellent. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Are ancient wardens alive? Good question, actually. Good question. All right, let's see if what I missed here. All of the alts are a bit underwhelming. That's the first thing I see when I look over and uh, I just, huh? The alts that can get recharged relatively quickly and you can use in large combat engagements, almost every other combat, if not every combat, they are underwhelming, which generally wipe out a massive amount of forces. I have two questions. One, how are you using your ults? And two, um, refer to one. <laughs> very, very curious why you would think the alts are underwhelming. That's uh, very strange to me. Very strange stance. We all disagree? Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you agree or not. I'm curious. Just because we disagree doesn't mean it's no longer a valid question. I wanna know. I wanna know. Is your inventory full? Yes. I pick up things, lots, lots of times. I've learned even stack discharge is pretty good, but it really needs a utility focus. Uh, actually, uh, I will agree with that. Um, there are a couple... How to tiptoe on the line here. There... <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, what am I trying to say? So, um, 
you know, ultimates are a constant element that needs to be refined, right? Like as we're developing the game space, you know, in some cases, like we actually agree that certain alts like are actually better than others. Like they're straight better than others. There's also intentionality behind why that is. Based on the play style of certain ships, we want there to be a pocket, a boost in your situation that's going to help that certain play style in that moment. For example, for example, let's talk about the gunship for a second, okay? So this is something that I've seen a lot of people like point out and be like, oh, well, you know, you have the bomber, arc 9,000, you get the striker, this quantum tether that just like, oh, and then you have the gunship, it's got this measly little turret, pew, 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 pew. And people are like, man, what gives? That alt sucks, it's terrible. Is it? Because if you compare the special of the gunship to the other ships, straight out of the gate, the gunship does 100% increased damage. Uh, let me say that again. From the standpoint of just like the ship itself, <laughs> the gunship passively is doing 100% increased damage this is according to its play style aka it's called a gunship it likes guns guns go brrr. so in addition to this very massive boon for the gunship already we also thought well you know sometimes it's going to be hard to focus fire a shot on your opponent right well what's going to be a nice compliment whenever you've got a lot of enemies moving around quickly as you just saw with my sentinel I was struggling in some regards getting a shot to line up in those heated moments with my ult, with my ult. So I had to turn around, I had to figure it out, I'm wasting my ult as I'm just trying to get a shot off. Now granted when I get it, you know, it beams around, takes out multiple enemies, great, excellent. It works well with the Sentinel, which is absorbing that damage, so it gives me a little bit of that added time. But the gunship, it's like I got a focus target, like a big bad boss ship, Gunship is like, no problem. But if the gunship gets swarmed by a bunch of enemies, you're in trouble. You're in a lot of trouble, actually. Because focusing down little tiny itty bitty, oh, I've got like five drones on me and 10 fighters. Like, okay, that's chump change because if I can get my shots, I kill it in two seconds. But you have to do that to each individual target. You know, it would make things a lot easier if you had, I don't know, say a gun that automatically targeted them for you and started blasting them all to hell. A very complimentary ultimate for the gunship. Is it as powerful as the ARC 9000? Doesn't matter. It's applicable to the play style you are receiving when you are flying that vessel. And this is why we have this balance stemmed through each one of the ships and their respective expertise, their respective specials, and their respective alts. They are intentionally imbalanced. They are intentionally imbalanced. All right. Oh. So. There's something to chew on. <laughs> but also, you know, all this being said, obviously it's early access, work in progress. We'll probably make some more tweaks, changes, modifiers, and, and wait, what, what? Uh, and stuff to, you know, make ultimates, uh, you know, Balance. More unique and fun and things. Miss me. Not necessarily. I think he's telling me a story that I'm not supposed to reveal on stream. Oh my gosh. I don't think you're supposed to see the story yet, guys. I can't remember. I don't remember if this story arc is supposed to crop up in the live version or not. So, alright. Uh, I'm going to let this play out just in case. I don't want to accidentally do an oopsies. I don't want... Totally not a, a quest continuation thing. It certainly isn't live. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's really important to note uh, just how many places you can go to follow us and engage with us outside of these streams. Oh my gosh, fantastic! So great. Totally planned. One hundred percent. Where you can follow our YouTube videos. Also, I should also mention, like, if you missed the missed the the January recap. We are now doing these pocket recap videos uh, every month. 
So in, at the end of February, at the beginning of March, I will post another of like this three to five minute little recap video that goes over uh, topics that we discussed and um, intricate uh, little things through the course of the streams uh, as well. Uh, and we do appreciate the follows, the likes, the subscriptions, you know, all that, you know, generic stuff everybody begs for, I get it. But um, it is actually, it's really important. Um, it helps us out. It helps us out a ton. So if you can do that, that's always amazing. Why is this dialogue so long? Oh my gosh. All right. All right, boys and girls, we're done. We're good. Everything's... <laughs> We're adding too many things to the game. That's clearly the problem. I just can't play it live for you guys because there's just too much stuff that's been added. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, oh wait, no, that was our previous weapon. We need to clear out our inventory once again. Let's see, got some homing missiles, a shield, a penumbra. Uh, fun, fun, fun. So many, oh my gosh, so many things. Yeah, let's just, let's just scrap. We're gonna scrap most of this stuff because I want more blueprints. Yeah, more blueprints, excellent. And then of course, because I am a hoarder to an absurd degree, we are sending all that back to the home base. To plasma, excellent. And uh, we'll call that, oh. See you later, real gun. We'll call that good. All right. If you have suggestions, remember, I know that I, I like, I kind of went on a tangent for the alts, but if you guys do have additional suggestions for alts, like if you are very passionate about it not feeling right for the ship, I do ask that you take that to the forums. I do ask that you take those forms. I'm not trying to like dodge your suggestions or anything because I think there are some really cool stuff uh, that you guys have suggested in the, the chats uh, for the streams. It's great. And some of which I would probably even agree with. I see there's a conversation talking about the time extender and I just wanna nod my head. So just make sure that you get that posted on the forums so that we can have a proper discussion um, where that gets recognized, right? Where we can maybe make additional adjustments accordingly through this early access period. Cool? Awesome. So um, I think I'm gonna save this location challenge for next time. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save this stream save. Done. Um, and I also, I just really, really want to upgrade this so that it has a longer range. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> that's gonna be the last thing for the stream. And then we're going to, uh, then we're gonna just jump on over and we've got a lot of screenshots to share and talk about that you guys have been working on. It's been fantastic. Mm, yeah. And uh, yeah, like a ton. So Michael also went through and selected like a bajillion screenshots from Steam. So I know that we're not gonna have enough time for all of this. Uh, but you know, we, we try, we try hard on these streams uh, and that's all that matters, right? So we're gonna start with uh, Discord first. We're gonna start with Discord. So say goodbye to the, the game. Goodbye game, goodbye, boop. I just killed it. I murderized it. It is gone forevers. And then we're gonna cycle over to uh, a screen where I now am in the presence of other things going on. Delicious, delightful. Um, so I chose, I, I always do this every two weeks generally, about every two weeks, I will go through and I'll pick screenshots that the community has posted to the Discord. It's just stuff that I think was fun, nice, or was upvoted a lot. And I just wanna share it with you guys. And Michael's also uh, chosen his selects that would be like marketing approved material and wants to give you proper praise and credit where credit is due. So uh, that's the segment that we are in now. And we can, uh, we can talk a bit more about uh, crafting and devices uh, at a later point in time. It'll be good. All right. So this shot comes from Ace of Blades. He's been posted on a little bit more frequently and there's a couple of them that are very pleasant. Um, I chose this one 
due to how simplistic it is. It's a very, you know, it's symmetrical, of course, but it just, it cuts straight to the point. Here's my ship, here's a planet, here's open space, which I am venturing out into. There's a nice, pleasing, nice, delightful little image. Uh, and it, it warms my heart and soul. We've got another one. This one comes from B.W. Lambrecht. B.W. Lambrecht has been posting screenshots for a very long time, and they've been getting better. So I commend you, B.W. Lambrecht. Thank you for improving upon your skill set. Uh, I chose this one because it's almost like a poster. I love the way that whenever you have this uh, effect, this is the um, the uh, the annihilator virus effect. Whenever you have that effect. Uh, it actually shows different symbols floating away from the ship, almost like it's being infected. It's like being hacked or so. And I, I love that. I love this so much. Um, just being able to capture that and seeing the close up as these effects are kind of like bouncing off the ship, you capture that really well. And that's why I wanted to highlight that one. We've got another one from BW Lambrick as well. A, a slew of them on the Discord, in fact. Um, but just major praise for uh, your continued improvement. Um, I love this shot because you don't see this ship up close and personal very frequently. I think a lot of people kind of skim over it. Everyone wants to take the shots uh, specifically of their ship. And that's great. That's awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing. It's, I love it. But sometimes we got to show some love to the other ships that are out there. And I think that this one does a really good job of the GMB gunboat or uh, fighter, heavy fighter. GMB Heavy Fighter. Um, and it just, in all of its entirety, and especially as it's like flying over the, the freighter, the transport, it looks clean. It looks really good. So uh, well done. We also have a slew of shots that we keep receiving from uh, one of our latest and also uh, transformed into a uh, galactic photographer very quickly from Dark Chaos, um, who just has these beautiful environmental shots just absolutely stunning that just makes you want to dive back into the game and start taking photos or play the the locations feels really good feels really good and uh just major major shout out to him we're gonna see more of his shots um from michael's select uh because he loves on them too it's pretty impressive pretty impressive so next one we've got, uh, this one comes from Drive Live, who Drive Live has been taking a lot of photos as well. And they're also really clean and they're really good. Oh my gosh, Drive Live, I think had, he, he expressed his sadness <laughs> for not getting chosen as a galactic photographer recently. And it made my heart hurt. Oh my gosh. Drive Live, you're taking great shots. They're so close. My dude, they are so close. Like the, I love the way that you have these sprawling shots that you're capturing a lot of interesting things going on. There's a lot going on. And I, I enjoy that about your shots. There's, uh, you know, it's almost like a, a Where's Waldo as you're looking into this. Cause you know, what's on this station? Like what's, are there turrets? Is there, or is there another ship? Is it in combat? Like what's going on here? What's the story going on there? We also see this radio tower in the back. We've seen some crystalline structures on the asteroid. Obviously we have all of Zarkov in the back with this interesting rock formation. Then over here on the right, we see another little glowing bit. I'm not in the way, am I? Oh my gosh, right there. We see that little glowing bit. It's like, what is that? Uh, there's so much and it's it's captures me. It's very, it interests me to know more. I want to know more. I want to see more. So keep doing what you're doing. Uh, cause I love it. It's so good. It's so good. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, big acknowledgement there from drive live. Then the next one we've got from Excel and, uh, Excel has also been taking a lot of shots, um, for us. And there's been some really cool ones that he's taken this one. I had to do a double take. Cause at first I was like, wait a second, where's that at? Is that in the Cayute Nebula? And then I realized, oh shoot, those clouds, the clouds are from Everspace One. That ship is from Everspace One. I had to do a double take. You can tell because the engines mainly, but uh, the ship, the wings look very similar uh, to what we have in Everspace Two, one of the wing types at least. And uh, just a great job with bringing this one to life. 
it makes it look like the way you captured this with the light and how it's like passing over the asteroids makes it look like that's the ring of the planet it makes it look like this is is like a very light ring circling the planet i love the way that came across i also enjoy the color palette very much <clears throat> excuse me very much the orange and the purple um i think it comes across very well um and yeah i just i really enjoyed that shot so a great one for sure next one we've got also comes from excel and wow making those colors pop what a great representation of how vibrant everspace 2 can be and if i understand it correctly this was not a doctored image this is a 100 percent purebred shot inside of the game everspace 2. that is so cool that is so cool so uh great use of that contrast and the 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 lights and the dark tones and uh you know oh gosh bringing that together it just pleases me pleases me so much very good work next up we've got another one from excel look at this we're just giving him all the love this one i chose because it's i almost want to like flip it around um because generally speaking pro tip uh progression in our brains goes from left to right okay it's common in many things right uh it's a basic cinemagraphic technique whenever you're showing progress of a character they're walking from the left side of the screen to the right side when you're reading a book you start at the left the left side sorry my my camera's reversed I'm trying to do this correctly you start at the left side of the page and you read right so you go from left to right everything progress is represented by moving in that direction and here ah this ship is flying to the left oh no so i want to just like flip it around right that's all i want to do that's all i want to do because i love how there's this departure from some type of safety right from a planet from planetoid maybe there was a station there maybe there's a base there you know into the unknown which you see on the other side of this imagery which is just the nebula itself like what awaits our hero what's calling him to fly out there what is the next event that's going to occur and it would be great to have that flopped because you know progress right you're moving from one destination to another that's the only reason why i would say that i wanted to to go to the right but uh you know aside from that kind of maybe even selfish reason i really do like this shot i think it's a nice symmetrical shot that's set up incredibly well uh definitely good except for arabic and some asian languages well yeah okay okay you're right michael you're right generally speaking though <laughs> Of course, Michael's got to be like, well, technically, not all books read from left to right. <laughs> Michael, you are well-versed with an assortment of knowledge, and I commend you. And of course, you are correct. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just ta I'm talking for us mere peasants, okay? Uh, okay, my lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, so let's keep going. Western cinematography only speaks English. That's, oh, oh my gosh. Will, did you just burn the boss man? I can't, are you allowed to do that? Is that, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Unless you read right to left, like in some cultures, or if you're dyslexic, oh my goodness, okay. All right, so next one up, we've got a new look for Honey Badger. I love the username also. Uh, he don't give enough. And I just, I love the way that he's been capturing his new ship. He loved the way that it looked. I believe he started stylizing it. He had a couple of new ships actually, but this one in particular, um, just the interceptor in and of itself. Um, I think it speaks to a lot of more traditional aviation than most of our other spaceships, right? Like you have your very classic Delta wings, you have your authentic and almost realistic body types uh, and cockpits. It just, it comes together incredibly well. And I love how he's painted it red and black and is calling himself an outlaw. Just so great. So great. No burns here, just memes. Okay, good. Very good. So good. And I love how he's uh, blotched out, excuse me, while I itch the inside of my ear. 
I love how he's blotched out. He's he's created a depth of field to put all the focus on the ship and its design. That uh, just brings it together as a whole. And there's still really good framing behind this ship. Let it be known. Like, you can blur random stuff out in the background all you want, but unless it's a complement to what you're putting a focus on, sometimes it actually is counterintuitive. The reason this works so well is because it's not jarred with any additional or similar colors, I should say. Like, we have these neutral colors of tan and, and indigo and, uh, you know, almost a black color, right? All of these are neutrals that allow your predominant colors here on the screen, this red, to just outshine itself. So everything, your eyes just go straight to that ship and it looks good. So very, very well done there. Very well done. Um, he has a, he's got a couple other um, environment shots as well. This is also a honey badger um, that he was posting. This one, I, I love the asteroid because it's like, it's like a, um, oh my gosh, the, the finger of God, right? Like it's, it's, it's like doing that all. Oh, I love that it's almost trying to touch the planet and I just, I enjoyed that so much. I was like, I just want to share it just to say that because it's cool. So a great use of using the environment to kind of shape a narrative. Very good. Super neat. Super neat. What ship would an Everspace 2 bot fly? A Vanguard? Uh, a bot? A robot? I mean, technically speaking, the the virus, the parasite, it can fly just about anything. So any ship that has a system in it is technically the answer. You'd have to fly an old colonial model ship if you didn't want to get invaded from a parasite. That's my guess. All right. Uh, let's go into the next one. We've got a new photographer who's been posting a little bit. I only captured one of their shots, but I thought it was pretty great in showing the chaos that can be. This is from Everspace One. Uh, some of you might be saying, obviously, but I'm just point out, pointing that out. Um, and also just like seeing how crazy events can escalate when you are trying to combat like the Okar at their home worlds. This is a part of the DLC. So if you were to say, I don't know, purchase Everspace One on the Nintendo Switch system for 50% off right now, you would have access to this location. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can see all these screaming little fighters, like they are just going ham. They are blasting away. We've got a, a, a Corvette. We've got the frigate right there. And obviously this is the interceptor of the player ship himself flying around and you can tell why they're probably pissed off. That crystal is broken. Who done that? Who broke the crystal? I don't know. It was the player. It was 100% the player. But a great shot that captures the heat of the moment and just how feared one should be of the Okar power that they have within the cluster. After all, there was this massive war and many casualties on both sides. All right, next we're going into Kaza. Kaza, he always brings so many shots to the mixture. It's it's absurd. This is not Kaza's hour uh, or even 30 minutes of the stream time. So I'll try to be brief. Uh, just loving the way that he's framing his shots, uh, flying away from explosions. Um, I also really enjoy the color palette that he uses on his ships that create these interesting highlights as well. So not only is he framing the ship on this planet, you can see that the wings on both the left and right side, they're not branching out from the planet. They're actually both inside, right? But the color palette, you've got these yellows and this blacks that are complemented by this subtle green looking light at the front, uh, just creating these interesting forms. And I just, I really dig that about this particular shot. Um, we've got a couple other ones that he's highlighted, like this one with the Vanguard, firing a coil gun, I believe. I think that's a coil gun. Hitting the shields of that Redeemer, and it just, that looks pretty neat, just in and of itself, when the shields are getting hit. There's a lot of work on like the detail of the shield itself. I don't know how many of you guys have you like stopped and just looked at the shields in the game, but like when they break, there's an, an, an intricate animation. Like when they come back, like there's so many subtle little things on the shields themselves. And I love how he's capturing one of those aspects here. Very neat. Very neat. 
We got another one from Kazaa, just because I like it using, it's, you know, got some nice framing. I love the curvature of the engine boosts, you know, right there. Feels good. Also like that particular ship, that Sentinel design. And the color palette is nice and muted, so nothing's screeching out too loudly. Uh, leaving the blue engines the greatest amount of contrast with this yellowish orange, which orange and blue, they work beautifully together. So well done. And then, you know, also using uh, the depth of field. So good, so good. Another one from Kazaa, goodness gravy. He, he took this one recently and um, I just, do I even need to describe this? Like, I just love this shot. That just looks so intense and like, I want that. I want to be in this situation. I want this to be happening and I want to be like flying by the seat of my pants trying to get out of a, a tube that's exploding. It's a great shot. It's a great shot. You like how the outlaws fight the Okar in the first game? Yeah, they also fight the Okar in, in uh, Everspace 2 as well. Um, I'm sure that you guys probably know this by now because I've probably mentioned it. I think I have, but if I haven't, uh, well, um, we are going to be making a couple changes with the Okar and how they are engaged with um, in the future. So we'll see that and we'll talk about that when we get there because obviously not a priority at the moment. Very good, very good. I was actually frustrated and stuck in the tube. Fired missiles to reset. You got stuck? Oh my gosh. At least you weren't flying, flying the bomber. You just <laughs> couldn't get out. <laughs> All right, next up. And the final one from Kaza. Um, he had a number of these that were like super, super recent. Um, it's a little bit of a shame because there's like this, I, I don't know what to call it. Would it be artifacting? where you have this repetition, these lines appear. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. Uh, but this one impacted me the most, not only because of the lightning strike that's kind of leading your eyes into the picture as well, but the ship flying into this very large, very mysterious structure that you don't have a lot of added information on. And um, I just like how that captures the, uh, the essence of exploration inside of this storm that is the Zarkov uh, region. So very, very good stuff. Nice, nice. We got a couple from Medbed, which the scope is what I appreciate about his shots or her shots. I don't know what your genders are, um, but I love, I love the way that this one's captured. Those crystals are huge. And you wouldn't be able to tell that unless you saw a screenshot like this. So thank you, Medbed, for capturing this shot and showing us like just how massive these unassuming and very beautiful looking crystals are in the game of Everspace 2. Really great. I love how twinkly they are as well through your use of uh, depth of field, uh, bringing it all together. I also like how this ship is flying from the left to the right. <laughs> Progress, boys! Oh my gosh. All right, next up, we got Medbed again, and this is another one of those uh, beautiful ways to introduce and inspire an explorer into the mix. Uh, you have this very massive uh, amount of nebulous cloudage in space that's blocking anything and everything that you can see, and so your attention is drawn immediately to the center of this, where this lightning's cracking with this structure that you're not really sure what is it? You know, is it is it a rock? Is it a creature? Is it a station? It's, I mean, it's obviously a rock, but like you're, you want to find out more and you see his ship zipping on, on the way. He's going up. Up is also another way of like showing, you know, uh, rising up or, you know, whatever. And you see this ship like, I, I'm doing it. I'm going for it. This trusty little interceptor here, flying into this space to discover the unknown. It's good stuff. Color banding, is that the technical term? Well, y'all know I'm not super great with technical terms. I just see things and I say, hey, there's the thing, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's it's all good, it's all good. All right, next up, we've got some fan art. I gotta, I gotta pull it over though, hang on. Does that work? This works, perfect. 
So fan art, this is a separate field where we have um, modified images, right? That's the whole nature of fan art versus screenshots. Screenshots are straight up taken from the game, no or maybe subtle adjustments have been made to them. And then we have our fan art where things just get crazy. And this one, Mysterious Mr. E, oh my gosh, I just want to see an Everspace movie because of him. It's his fault. <laughs> So if you guys could just like buy Everspace 2 like four more times, uh, that'd be great so we could fund, you know, a movie. Uh, no big deal, no pressure. Um, but seriously, like amazing. Did I say four more times? I mean like 50. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, very great shot. Very great posterization of Everspace 2. Just oh, the colors and all the things. There, it just, it makes me happy. It makes me so happy. And I hope it makes you happy too. I'm glad that some of you guys are enjoying the scrolling marquee. I have, there's something, every week, every week, well, actually, ironically, last week I didn't update it, but aside from that, I like to have fun with you guys. And while I'm, like, saying random things, I know that there's not only the attention of what's happening here, but also, you know, there's sometimes subtle hidden details in there that might be uh, letting you know what's up, and we gotta have fun. We gotta have fun. So, excellent. Next up, we have the Chemical Bro. Uh, great job. <laughs> like, on two fronts. The first front is by plugging in the ship into this space to make it feel realistic. And the second is you added this entire skin to the gun or the uh, the Vindicator, or the, what, what even is it? Uh, yeah, it's a Vindicator. Goodness, you added this entire skin to the Vindicator. And I love it, and now I need it. And I was like, hey team, what's the chance that we could get like some sort of military looking, you know, skin to the, the ship? And they basically said, no, Eric, stop it. So uh, we have a lot of color options already. We have a lot of customization. We're happy with where that's at. There is still more coming. Um, I know some people are like, well, we only have like the, uh, what is the metallic or the standard? There might be more that happens there, but that will be much later. Okay, it's not priority, so just just note that. Still, mad appreciation for this. I love it. I love how it's like a photo from you know a war torn era uh, to reminisce about the good old days, uh, and your flight buddies, you know all that type of stuff. So very well done. Very very well done. The A sevens are icing on the cake. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, speaking of the chemical bro, the rest of the fan art's all him. <laughs> I love how he just, he plays around. I don't even know, like, what your your day job is, the chemical bro, but I don't care. Please keep doing what you're doing because it's so much fun when you just make stuff and you share it with us. Um, this one makes me so happy. Just, you know, E3 2023, Michael Shaw's up there on the stage. He's presenting Everspace 2 and we've got a life-size model of a Sentinel. Oh my gosh. Just perfect. I love it. I love it so much. Keep it up. And now people are listing off actors in a movie. Morgan Freeman as Hive, Keanu Reeves as Tareen. <sighs> this is why movies are never made through Kickstarter. <laughs> it's like, creative reward. <laughs> like, ask for an actor to appear as a character. No, no. <laughs> Jack Black as Maurice. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Um, Chemical Bro actually ended up doing a slew of stickers. And I have to tell you, they were all posted on our Instagram. So I know that I've gone back and like said, hey, you need to go follow and like and share and subscribe and blah, 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 whatever. Um, Instagram is where we share a lot of your screenshots, a lot of your fan art. Um, and if you just like, the last bits of the, like every other stream where we just like showcase how freaking awesome you guys are. If you want more of this, follow that Instagram account because you are going to have an endless supply of screenshots and posters for the rest of your life. It's absurd, absurd. So great work, uh, Chemical Bro. I just wanted to highlight this one because it's one of the more recent ones, but he's done, I believe all of the ships now, except for the Rogue because he doesn't have access to it for obvious reasons. Uh, last one that we wanted to show. <laughs> 
uh, he made this observation of how that looks a lot like Zarkov, right? Like, the, um, okay, well played. Well played, sir. So uh, this is a great uh, great way to call back. I love the, the shadows of the ships that he captured in there as well. Uh, so good work. Very clever. You all are fantastic. You are all so good. Um, so we've been talking about all of your screenshots. I have two minutes left. Michael, you did so much work in getting me your selects and I didn't even make space for you. I didn't even make space for my own boss, guys. Wow, I am a jerk. I am an absolute savage. So we'll we'll have to showcase the uh, selects that Michael has um, probably next time, very likely next time, uh, because he he really does have a knack for this stuff. I mean, he he's our marketing expert, right? So um, we'll definitely highlight those. He's been pulling some incredible shots off of Steam just to give you a just to give you some sense. A lot comes from Chemical Bro, Dark Chaos. It's YFP. Uh, if you haven't heard that name, he's done a brilliant amount of shots over on Steam. Um, Whiskey Dancer, we saw a couple of those last time, uh, and a couple other individuals. So uh, keep up the great work, everybody. Your screenshots are so great. Your uh, like your fan art, it's it's hilarious and it's impactful and it's inspiring. And uh, next week, I am straight up gonna tell you about the devices and the crafting. I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Is that the plan, Michael? I don't care. That's what I'm gonna do next week. We are actually gonna open that up and we will show you and talk about all of those changes because there's a lot. There's been a massive overhaul, guys. So uh, thanks so much for being here. You've been awesome. If I have missed your questions, ask them in the Discord. Ask Dev Questions channel, just be like, yo, you missed my question. Uh, I have been Eric Schrader, your community ambassador for all things Iverspace 2, your servant, your guide. Don't stop being awesome, and we will catch you next week when we talk about... We're, we're going to talk about him, right, Michael? <laughs> we're going to... Uh, screw it. We're talking 100% locked in. It's happening. Be here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I didn't say... Hang on a second. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. Toodles. It's that segment of the stream where I remind you that the Nintendo Switch is 50% off right now for all things Everspace One. It's fantastic. You should try it on the go. Play it on the toilet, wherever you're at. It's, it's delightful. Otherwise, also keep in mind that Everspace Two's early access, the price point will change when we reach a 1.0 launch state. So while we have had little sales for Everspace Two here and there, those are going to be the best times, literally, to buy the game. If you do want to wait it out to 1.0, mad respect for you. Just, I want to let you know that there will be a price increase when we get there. So just want to be as transparent about that as possible. Uh, we got one more year's worth of development. I'm so glad that you are along for the ride. And now I really do have to go. Bye!